welcome this is the energy vibration reading for the Librans for the year 2018 I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back this is a wonderful wonderful year that is coming up for you guys um, the energy of the lovers is here which is going to be the focus of uh, um, your year the year energies um, and I want to say thank you so much to you Librans thank you thank you thank you for all the support the likes the shares thank you I have found out that my year working with you guys was uh, um, bringing in a lot of balance and a lot of situation in and um, you are carrying the energy vibration of this year um, you liberals in this year it's going to be a lucky year for you guys so this is one of the luckiest year that is going to come in for you guys for a very long time so not for the next six or seven years before a year like this come in for you liberals so use the energy um, what you liberals are doing is actually working with a shift of the planet what is happening is that um, this year is a year that um, people each and every person on this planet is going to choose to either vibrate in a higher energy vibration or a lower energy vibration and you guys are bringing in the shift on this planet for this year 2018 so okay let's look forward and let's go forward and let's see what is happening um, for you liberals please remember to listen to your sun moon and rising and to all you liberals out there I'm sending you a lot of loves love I want to say thank you for the support the likes and shares that you have been so rocking this this has been such a wonderful time it's such a wonderful um, working together with you guys um, thanks to all my new um, subscribers that has come on thank you for the support the likes and the shares please please share these videos it is very important the message need to go out there to reach all you liberals listen to your Sun moon and rising sign the general energies are back for this year 2017 I'm going to um, try and put up other videos and extend other videos up and that sort of a thing so be open for this this. so let's look at the energy vibration for the year 2018 it is the energy of justice you carry you carry this card you carry this um, energy and this is why it's going to be a lucky lucky month for you guys because you're going to see the energies and the power of the universe bringing you a lot of wonderful things in your life and this is going to be an extremely extremely positive energy for you guys in this year 2018 so 2018 is really really one of those years when it is it is your luckiest years and I and for the next seven years before you will see and receive this luck coming back so use the energy in this year okay um, let's break down your month because what I'm doing is uh, actually um, write write these things down get pen and paper or however you take notes and um, get these done um, the first three months is going to be one of uh, you begin January with emotions um, you're fighting with um, your enemies um, you're you're trying to take your enemies down um, then um, your best month in the first half of the year is going to be in May uh, yeah the, 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 actually the second quarter which is uh, um, um, April till June is the best three months of the year as we look at August I don't know what it is but for you hair sign August seems to be a very very lucky month for you air sign because in August your own energy vibration is here and the Gemini's had it and also the, um, the Gemini's had it and also who else had it that was the energy of uh, um, also the um, 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 uh, Aquarians um, August is going to be um, a very powerful month for you guys in August um and December the Gemini's got that too so August and December are going to be the um, very best month so for you Gemini um, April till June 
August and December is going to be your best best month let's look at the energies for you guys I'll be giving you numbers that you can work with in this um, year number six is good um, number 19 is good um, number 10 is good number three is good um, number 11 is good and number 17 so again the number is 6 3 19 10 um, 11 and 17 these are the numbers to work with in this year so we are going to go in your reading um the first energy that you have for January you have the energy of the moon the energy of the moon in January is that you're actually fighting and working with your enemies you are trying to keep them off as you look at this man is fighting with the crab the crab or crave is all tight the energy of the crab of crave is all tight your enemies because they are the one that is going to bite you in the back they are the ones who you're fighting to protect yourself from in the month of January so be aware um, protect yourself in the month of January because they are going to be coming at you so be aware of this in January a lot of them will be coming at you they will be like hanging on to you so be aware of this because in January you are going to have to deal with people and situation that you need to balance out okay January is going to be an water energy for you it's going to be very emotional because you are trying to protect yourself from uh, lower energies and these negative people okay all right we're going to February February you have the energy of the elephant your um, this energy of the elephant this energy of the organization is bringing balance um, this energy of the organization I've seen is as if these um, people what they were doing was injustice and the organization these people who are affiliated to this organization what happened is that they have been doing stuff that was unbelievable you are a liberal you will um, bring out the truth you want to know the truth you want to balance things and together you're going to work with this organization so the the truth an honesty of a situation is going to come out the truth is going to come out because this year is a year where information that was kept the secrets the lies that situation organization was doing it's now going to come out and you are going to work together um, in a organ in this with this organization to get the truth out you liberal so that is good but be aware in the month of March because your enemies the energy of the devil you can't work with this energy at all because the energy of the devil is here in the month of March March seems to be having a sort of a um, you know situation so in March you are going to have to um, conquer the devil or you have to because um, these people because your enemies are there and your enemies is in organization it's an organization where your enemies lurk around and this organization there are people who are just waiting for you to fall but you're not gonna fall you are going to triumph over the situation so be aware that the energy of the devil comes up in the month of March and this can have to do with um, because the month of March you'll be doing your taxes and all of that sort of a thing but this is not coming from the from taxes and so it is coming from people who just want to see you fall people who have been going after you people who wants to get to break you down and they all is as if they all gather together but this is it, it is actually in a way good because there has to be conflict and chaos so that a balance can come in so for your first three months of the year you have the water energy the earth energy and fire energy there is no support and balance for you um, 
librans in the first quarter and you have to deal you have to you have to protect yourself in January you know you really have to protect yourself because people will be coming at you so you have to protect yourself in the first quarter now let's move on to the second quarter we have a very positive energy the energy of the earth energy is coming in the empress is coming in so whatever your materialistic uh, material situation is whatever you need funding um funding help uh, that sort of a thing it's going to be coming in for you in april so um expect that sort of a thing on the, the empress is going to come in and help you because um what is happening is that the first three months it's like getting rid of the blockages getting rid of the people who were working against you and the second quarter begins because the second quarter is going to be one of the best quarters for you guys the Empress begins and be begin the um, quarter in um, April and then you have in May a wonderful energy May is going to be very good for you air sign people it's just going to be pumping positive it's just going to be good you have the energy of the Sun coming out so this is a wonderful wonderful energies for you Libran energies of the Sun yes whatever you're planning in this month yes go ahead it is good for you it's going to be very very positive as we look at um, um, June you end June in a positive note um, the devil energy um, is you know it was a karmatic situation you had to deal with these uh, people and these situations the enemies the liars the thief um, the backbiters the, the backstabbers uh, um, who came up in the first three months and uh, in that organization you had to deal with these people and it was a karmatic situation you are ending the first half of the year on a good note because you're leaving that behind the energy of the Sun came out in May you're leaving that behind in um, June and what is coming into you is positive positive good positive energy because the wheel of fortune is bringing you luck so again um, your best quarter is going to be the second quarter of the year because you are going to feel and see all these positive energies coming out in your life and it's going to be very 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 positive it's going to be good okay it's going to be wonderful it's going to be good so here we go let's look at this um for the third quarter we begin the third quarter with a fire energy you liberals and yeah you liberals are working just with the other zodiac signs and this is what is happening for you liberals is that a powerful of um, the, the, you know the, 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 the your enemies and then the enemies are connected to organization and corporations and the devil and the tower come the tower comes and it is cleansing because the wheel of fortune leave them behind and bring in positive things so of course there has to be a cleansing and the tower come and it is just cleansing moving things away you know really really moving things away and um, in the month of August which is going to be a very very positive month for you guys what is happening for you guys you have the energy of justice you stand up you stand up in August and you stand up against the injustice and equality that has been going on and you stand up and justice came in and bring you um, positive endings out of this and this is extremely good and extremely positive so ladies and gentlemen remember this month of August is going to whatever legal situation whatever imbalance whatever unjust um, from a karmatic lifetime or um, the the energy on the earth that you have been going through with people places and situation and there is justice there's a balance that you're bringing in for yourself in the month of August we're moving forward to September September is going to be a month of um, 
judgment information breakthroughs um, this is breakthroughs coming through there's information coming out there are things coming out that you weren't aware of their secrets secrets are coming out and this year is a year of secrets that the things that was hidden is going to come out in this year so the year 2018 is going to bring out things that were hidden it's going to come out it's gonna blaze out it's gonna be out there so you have to be ready ready for this because secrets so if you were keeping secrets oh my god they're going to come out I always tell people I don't keep secrets my life is an open book so your third quarter of the year 2018 is actually going to be positive it's going to be positive because August and the secrets and the things that are coming out is actually good it's it's gonna work in your favor because the energy of justice is here but the secrets that are coming out is going to work in your favor because at the end of the day um, it's going to help you in the long run so um, this is going to be good so your third quarter is another positive quarter because not everybody has that positive energy because as of all because you know July it's it's going to be like an explosion and uh, I see this tower coming up for you air sign people it's either in um, um, it's either <laughs> in um, in March or it's in and I love when the, the tower comes up in the beginning of a quarter because that is a cleansing and then the rest of the quarter you can see that it's coming up with a good good positive energy okay and then the the breakthroughs that are going to come through the information that are going to come through is going to actually help you okay we're moving forward to the last and final quarter of the year 2018 and we have another water energies because you guys seems to be cleansing a lot of stuff it's fire you guys have fire and water so it's really a year of cleansing you have um the energy of you finding your true light you're coming to live you're 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 going to live again the the energy of you coming back to life is going to live again and this is so positive because you're finding now your true light and you will be but you'll be you know you'll be strong and especially you women will be looking good in this month and this is going to be positive so october is going to be a wonderful month where you're seeking your inner truth and your inner light and this is just going to be positive it's just going to be coming out and this is going to be good okay so let's uh, look at the energy of uh, um, November and November is a wonderful energy and most of you people are getting this energy in November because the eye princess came up for a lot of you air sign in November so the eye princess is actually coming in and it's going to work with a lot of you air people and for you um, Librans the eye princess is so so powerful because what she is doing is that she is actually um, bringing forth wonderful situations and these situations are going to be extremely powerful for you because what it is doing it is propelling you to actually connect with yourself and your inner guides and your mighty I am present and this is good because it's going to propel you the in it you know the eye princess comes up whenever the eye princess comes up in a reading she is saying you know connect with your mighty I am present self and vibrate in that sort of energy and then you're going to see um, just positive new energies that are coming up and this is going to help you in the long run so this is going to be good so you know this is um, a powered powerful year for you guys so use the energy last and final month congratulation it is your month of December you liberals it's gonna be wonderful it's gonna be powerful it's gonna be positive for the people who have been sick and all that um, thing for if you have been sick for a while in December you are going to feel your energy so coming back so bright and so here you're going to feel um, your wishes and dreams to live to be better is going to be happening for you and this is going to be powerful this is going to be good it's going to be wonderful everything all your bills will be paid all the situation all that you were asking for is going to be granted to you in the month of December so ladies and gentlemen this is going to be 
a wonderful wonderful positive year for you guys so and um, recapping because I already told you your numbers and date but I will say them again the best quarter is the third quarter, the end of the second quarter, which is August and um, September. It's going to be good. September is not really a good month for people, but you guys have September been very good. You have the Empress, you have the energy of the sun in the second quarter, and you have the Wheel of Fortune, which is a so powerful. So the second quarter, that is April until June, is going to be very good. So the ending of the first half of the year is going to be very good. As we look at the second half of the, 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 the year, um, August and September is going to be very, very positive. And then December, you are going to end the year with a blast. You are going to end the year with sparkle, sunshine. Everything um, will be happening for you guys. It is the year of the energy of the lovers. So you have so many duality that is going on for you guys. This is good because you be working with relationship. I don't see the ending of any relationships. I see more coming together. I see that you're leaving um, certain um, situations behind relationships are going to be powerful the energy of the lovers is going to come up the energy of the lovers is going to be working with you so business relationship uh, friendship uh, soul connection is going to be happening for you guys in this year and this is good because it is the energy vibration of your year the energy of the duality the balance the justice and the karma your car you're balancing a lot of karma with other people so this is what i'm saying and i've said in the general readings go back listen to the general readings for 2018 is that you guys will be balancing a lot of positive things in this year which is going to be extremely wonderful and positive so you have to align yourself with this because it's going to be very very powerful there's a lot of new relationship and new people coming in your life because you're cleansing energies with people and um, new people are coming in so let's go ahead and look at your zodiac. I can't um, see anything else that I should really give um, right now. So if it comes up, um, but let's go look and see what do we have with the zodiac energies for um, you Librans, because it's going to be a year of really, really, really positive energies. So let's see what the sun people have to do and these are the people who were born between the hours of 12 a.m and 12 uh, and 6 p.m let's see the energies for the moon people um ooh, i told you love is in the year okay um ladies and gentlemen for the sun people you have to work with mercury okay so for the sun people you have to work with mercury and the aquarian so this is good this is not going to be so bad for you sun people because you'll be working with mercury and the aquarians and the aquarians um with mercury mercury is always uh, the energy of you because you know you're ruled by venus uh, and mercury is the energy of uh, um, teaching you how to manifest a lot of things and you some people working with mercury this is going to be magic for a lot of you people it's as if certain things and certain situation is going to come up and this is going to just bring positive wonderful energies for you so you're seeing this happening at this moment and this is going to bring you to a positive place in your life so this is good the uh, um, Aquarians come in to help you guys and to work together with you guys so it's going to be extremely extremely positive as we look at the moon people and these are the people that were born these are the people that were born um, between the hours of 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. and what is going to happen for you guys is that you are going to find yourself being very 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 um, much working with the energies of the Leo's the energies of the Leo's and um, the energy of um, Venus the planet of Venus so this is good because you're working with the energy of love so a lot of you people will be meeting your twin flame and soulmate in this year and let me just um, put my glasses on yeah it's the Venus Luna and Venus and the Leo's so a lot of people are going to be realizing that you are connecting um, um, with a lot of um, twin flate soulmate relationship because you have your 
um, focus and the energy of your year is going to be with the energy of the lovers so this comes in Venus comes in to show you that you're going to be working with the energies of the lovers and most of you um, could be meeting your soulmate and twin flame who is the Leo's okay so this is a powerful this is something that you need to look at because you're going to see this powerful energy coming out for um, you connecting uh, in uh, with the uh, the with uh, the <laughs> you connecting with the the, the um, energy of the um, the these powerful energy of love Venus and the Leo so this is going to be wonderful this is going to be actually working out in your favor so a lot of you who were looking for your twin mate and your soul mate you are going to be connecting with the Leo's because actually the hair sign and the fire sign goes together very well because one balance the other one out let's see what the ascendance masters message have for you guys and it is commander Ashra I connect with Commander Ashra um, to serve the universe, and this is good. I, I, you know, I do, I do realize why um, Commander Ashra comes up because you Librans carry the energy vibration of healing um, the rest of the planet. Commander Ashra is an Ascendance Master. He's working with us. He's back, and he's working with us. Commander Ashra is in charge of the intergalactic fleet um, spaceship that portal and protect this universe. As a mothership enters Earth through the Mecca Pika, the two ways of uh, um, intergalactic portal that he oversees. And this is why we're not supposed to go to the, the south, the south pole because um, that is where the intergalactic ships comes in to go to hollow earth and yeah this is big shit yes uh, so is it sorry so yeah you didn't know that did you but there is a lot of things that happen on this planet that you guys don't know about and this is why commander ashra comes up to let me give you this information and get this information out commander ashra is connecting with you through this card and invites you uh, to view and invites you um, to view the planets the star and the galaxy with the cosmic eyes um, breed in the subtle energy and wisdom of the stellar world and allow it to affect your um, chakra um, system and ignite your consciousness you are blessed for this is a card of expanding enlightenment and a call to the intergalactic service and then you are going to say the affirmation because the affirmation is down here and it says I connect with Commander Ashra to serve the universe I connect with Commander Ashra to serve the universe so there is something that you guys didn't know yes so we are never alone on this planet we have never been alone on this planet there is all of her there's a total different species that is living in all of earth and the intergalactic fleets visit the planet by going through the um, the Maka Pika um, the two-way intergalactic portal that he oversees so they come often to this planet um, and you can call upon them and what he's saying is that you need to connect I connect with Commander Ashra to serve the universe I've gone through this myself I work with um, the universe because I'm a starseed child and I connect also with the intergalactic um, um, people I remember when um, my mom died and she came and she said to me yes you were right there's a spaceship that is over earth yes so um, yes <laughs> Uh, I because I, I knew that somehow this information had come to me as and I remember I'm always questioning a lot of stuff and I said mom there is something happening we are not here alone and I remember and it's just as if I had been to that spaceship so I knew they were 
care. I knew all my life that we weren't alone on this planet. And I think that's why most of my life um, I have tried to vibrate in a higher energy vibration. And I remember I was questioning something and having a conversation with my mom. I must have been to the spaceship or must have connected with them. And I said to it to my mom and I remember when my mom passed away, um, I was in Europe and she came and she said, come outside. And she says, look up, you were right. There is a spaceship that is covering and protecting her. So um, people wake up because there is a lot we need to know. And this year is going to be a year that it's going to come out. So ladies and gentlemen, let's look and see what the Akasic record have for you guys. What does the Akasic record have for you guys? You have a reverse card, the Eight of Keys, the Master of Artistic. Why are you in the reverse form? You are the first one to receive a reverse card. Okay, let's see what's happening. Why you guys, the Eight of Keys is in the reverse form. Yeah, I, I, I know, <laughs> but this is kind of strange. Eight of keys, eight of fours. Um, this is really a new, I've saw it, the Akashic Records. I'm not that impressed, I should say, because I was looking for something else. It, maybe it's because it says Akashic Records. So I was looking for something um, totally different. Okay, you are in the reverse form. So let's see the master of uh, artisan. And why are you in the reverse? The reverse of this card actually indicate a time of great return. Wow. You have shared your gifts with the world and now a wonderful pass of receiving is here for you. You have worked hard and brought your efforts and energy to bear in making your contribution to humanity. Now it's time for the universe to give back. The riches and fulfillment you deserve are pouring back into the, your hands. It is the return of all your efforts tenfold. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you, you Librans. This is good because I reverse cards is like, a, <laughs> oh God, what's happening? But this is actually good. So, okay. I'm sorry, the acoustic records, because I, I, I think I was, you know, looking for something else. Because when the acoustic records, when it says acoustic records, it's all about your past life. So I was looking for something um, different. So I guess this is good, and it's in reverse, and that was a positive message. So whatever that you guys have give out and help other, um, you are going to see it coming back in tell full. Um, we're working also with a conscious spirit and it is at, at day and rest at day and rest. I find peace in nature and rest my body and mind in order to connect with spirit. And I'm please, please ask in each and every person, please rest at day. And it is very, very important for people to rest. I have been going without sleep for quite some time, and this is because I'm going through my ascension process, so this do happen. Um, and um, a lot of you are going to be having this, but you need to even, if you can't sleep, just lay down and rest. You can watch television until your eyes get tired, or you can read something until your eyes tired, but um, come back and read all these affirmations from Commander Ashra and, um, um, and, and, and uh, for the spirit guides, okay? So come back and read it. It's a beautiful card. I find peace in nature and rest my body and mind in order to connect to spirit. The last energy that we have is from the angels of abundance. You guys know I'm not doing my reading without my angels coming through. So let's see what the angels of abundance have to say for you guys. A block out distractions. So this is good for you liberals in this year to block out all distraction. Your life purpose and other priority needs your undivided attention. So it's time for you to take charge of your schedule and working environment by 
return by turning off electronics and avoiding anyone or anything that distracts you from what's important you already know what these distractions are you have the power to um, a responsible block them out and that is true because I got a lot of distraction I will have people coming over I'll have but yeah I, I have a lot of distraction and it's like one of the most busiest time for me is the end of the year my birthday is coming up but yet still I have this and I have that and I'm, I'm trying to do this and I'm doing that and I get very distracted I also got this card so in this year ladies and gentlemen try to block out the people who are distracting you from whatever it is that you're supposed to do um, as you block out these people you are able and capable enough to um, connect to what it is that you need to do I want to say this has been one of the most beautiful readings so far so I am wishing you a wonderful new year and sending you a lot of love and light please share these videos and know that your year is going to be very positive I love you guys bye